Well, so the vision of the company was to create world-class learning environments uh, for every student in a community. Uh, and, and you come to realize that even if we were successful in accomplishing that mission, it could be that the transformational learning experiences that we hoped for still weren't happening. And so the mission began to feel as if we could fulfill the mission and yet not make a dent in what we wanted to do in education. And so it challenged us to say, well, either our mission should shift and, and encompass more, or uh, we should be satisfied being sort of ineffective in what we're doing. And of course, the latter is uh, not really an acceptable outcome. And so we said, okay, well, if we changed our mission, could we accomplish our mission with just what we do today? And the answer, of course, was no. I think changing the name of the company for me started to come about when I realized how many times I apologized for the name of our organization when I was helping people think about education and their initiatives more broadly than just furniture. So when we go in and talk about strategic uh, initiatives in a district, when we talk about effective teaching and learning practice, how to integrate technology appropriately into a space with design intent, and then how to bring a space and wrap it around that, we had clients that would resonate with that. We had people that were excited about that and then say, why are you called contracts furnishings? I don't understand. And then the apology would happen. And, and so when you constantly have to step around your name and apologize for it, it's usually an indicator that you might have outgrown uh, your name at, at some point in time. And I think that's really what went on here. So MEDIA is an acronym for Methods, Tools, Environments, Plus Relationships. It's, it's uh, in the tagline for the company is Connecting the Dots. If you're really sold out to the idea of um, effective solutions, as soon as you recognize that, your integrity is going to compel you to do something different. It's going to say you've got to up your game. Um, it's the idea of if you know better, you must do better. And you are responsible for that knowledge once you have it. And so when we're talking about it, intentionally designing learning experiences for students, we have to think about all of the elements that, that go into that learning experience. And that means that how we're teaching and the kinds of tools that we're using very intentionally and the kind of spaces that we're leveraging very intentionally are exactly tailored to what kind of outcome we're looking for. If, if I'm the same me and I'm just trying to enact stuff, things, it's not, it's not going to change. Uh, it'll, it may look different uh, over time, but it's, it's not really going to be sustainable. And it's not going to be effective. And so when we look at what does school change look like, it must first be cultural, which means we have to get back to the core of what do we believe about educating children is important. What do we believe about educating children is important for the future? And then how do we build daily activities around that? How do we build a framework around that, whether it's what we're doing from a methodological standpoint, or the tools we're using, or the environments we're doing it in to support that? And that's what gets you across the finish line. That's what moves you forward and gives you visible results.